How do we teach children about Valentine's Day? Hey there, I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for you. Valentine's Day is coming up, so let's actually have a discussion about how to teach it to them. Now, if you look around, Valentine's Day has mostly been about uh, romance instead of being about love and teaching kindness. And so that's what we're going to be looking at. How do we teach children about love and really embracing the love that surrounds them? Now, I know that Valentine's Day is about St. Valentine and all that, but most of us don't have classes that are full of Christian students. So we're going to look at the concept of love because that's really what Valentine's Day is for, stands for. And we're going to f figure out how we're going to help our children embrace that concept. Because ultimately when they learn about love, they learn, they f their self-esteem starts to rise because they see that they are, they have so much going in their lives and it's not just um, that boy likes me or that girl likes me or I like this person. It's about genuine friendships, genuine care, genuine uh, meaningful relationships with family members. And so that's what we're going for. And as they build their self-esteem, as they start to see all the beauty in your own classroom, let alone the outside world, also classroom management will start to get better for you because let's face it, kids start to build a relationship with the kids in the class and also with you. And that's what, what ends up building up our classroom management skills right there. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go right into it. There's three things we're going to work on. Number one is learn loving terms. So here, since kids already know about St. Valentine's, or not St. Valentine's, know about Valentine's Day, let's just focus on the first, on the terms associated with Valentine's Day. Okay? And let's play games around it and just familiarize ourselves with it. And the way to do it is I've got a resource. Click the link associated with this video where it says full episode and you'll go right to it. Number one, you'll have um, all of the material that you need to play games with your kids about Valentine's Day. Once you've done that, then you're going to go into a discussion about the concept of love and um, how we demonstrate it to other people. Okay, that's number one. Number two is reflect on love because it's really important to go deep within and see what love is really about. This is important to be also because it helps our children learn that love is not just about romance, but it is beautiful and unconditional and that it comes from within. Okay. And the way to do that is I've got resources, a resource just for you where you can actually have your kids reflect on different forms of love that they see in their lives so that we can help boost their self-esteem so they really understand that love is not just about receiving candy but it's about receiving from others their care and giving back to them as well okay the third thing is be a good friend because now we want to actually take what we're feeling and put it out in the world and show others care and the way to do this is by making cards, but not ordinary cards. Because if you look around right now, Valentine's Day is about giving treats and um, the cards that they give with the treats just has either the child that they're giving to or the child who's who's um, giving it. It's just those names are on the cards and that's it. There's no point to it, it's just all about candy. So it, you can give candy, but let's take it a step further and have kids write meaningful cards and the way we're going to do this is either you can um, pair each each of your kids up in your class or you can have them um, in small groups or just pick out names from a hat either way will work what they're going to do is for the kids that they are designated they're going to write meaningful cards to them about what they appreciate about that child or what they love about that child's personality and you're obviously going to want to scaffold this by explaining to them how to do this. And then after that, you're going to collect these cards and on Valentine's Day, you're going to, even if you do it on Valentine's Day, on that day after day, on that day itself, either you collect it and you hand it out or they give it to the child itself. Because with the candy, this is going to go home and parents will see it and it's just going to be more heartfelt. So let's have Valentine's Day and be meaningful to our kids in um, three different ways. We're just recapping really quickly. We talked about learn loving terms. Hopefully they'll use these loving terms in real life too beyond Valentine's Day. 
Number two is reflect on love to help boost their self-esteem. And number three is be a good friend. So we're taking what we're learning from inside and now putting it out into the universe. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Valentine's Day in advance to you and your family. Take care, my friends. If you have any questions, remember to create, uh, email me. In the meantime, remember to create, experience, and teach from the heart. Take care. Bye.